You may be asking yourself, James, why are you level 58 and you look different now? Well, that's because <laughs> in between the last episode and this one, I decided to go and do some leveling, specifically in the Ashen Wastes. And I did this for uh, three reasons. One is the Shard of Baranath here. Shard of Baranath is a level 55 component, and uh, it's flat elemental damage, percent elemental damage, offensive ability, the completion bonus, and grants the skill Baranath's Fury, which is sort of like a warrior mage's cadence, and it's really nice. I've only played with it a little bit, because, uh, I mean, I, I only put this all together recently to get, like, when I got to, to 58, and, um, yeah. In my test run, I, I took on the Iron Maiden and, and pretty much took her down um, with little... I wouldn't say with little effort. There was some effort. But it was actually a pretty pretty easier easier fight than what would have happened with the two-hand build or even with this Battle Mage build I had before. I went up to 58 before recording this because of the Eastern Pledge armor set, which I have two of the three pieces for, and uh, the chest piece is a pretty not bad cold lightning caster piece. The key thing here, though, is plus two to Trojan Sky Shards. That combines with the Eastern Leg Guards, plus two to Frozen Core. I don't have Shattered Star yet. It'd take me way too many points to get to Shattered Star with my present build, so I just... I'm taking advantage of plus two to Trojan Sky Shard and, and Frozen Core. I also threw on the Spell Sage Boots in place of the Desecrated Treads I had before. And uh, all this is working out really well. I went back to, obviously, a one-hander, and then I threw on a shield. And the shield is Templar's Faith, since that meshes well with Trojan Sky Shards. And I think that's the only difference between the build before... Oh, and the gloves are back to Harvest handguards instead of the Rewari gloves because of their um, defensive shield ability relatedness. But those are actually placeholders until I can get the Eastern Pledge gloves. So, Trojan Sky Shards is at 21 of 26, so it's almost there. I attached Blizzard to it, and I actually attached Tsunami to um, uh, Wrath of Baranath. So you can attach the you can attach your your uh, devotion related abilities to item abilities, and it's really really nice that you can do that. So Wrath of Baranath is like Cadence and Savagery. Well, it's like Savagery, but it's kind of more. Well, it's like Savagery. It's almost exactly like Savagery. As we hit enemies, we get these stacks. And the stacks will build up our damage bonus that Wrath of Baranath grants us. Since it's an elemental physical damage bonus, it's great for a warrior mage style character, which is what we got here. Um, so, the Devotion Tree has been a lot of gnashing of teeth on my part. And I debated going into the Eldric Ascendant areas because of the Eldric Ascendant areas have like Elemental Storm and Elemental Spirit. And I would really actually love to have the Elemental Spirit ability on this guy, but I can't get to it immediately, so it wouldn't be as valuable as having, say, Blizzard and Tsunami. So once, once more Devotion comes out, and that line there, I think, was our Tsunami. It's actually kind of an underwhelming ability. <laughs> and that's part of the reason I'm kind of thinking of changing to the Ascendant Prime... No, Ascendant um, Eldric combination. Because right now I'm doing... I'm pretty much going to do... Uh, Order Primordial, since that gives us a lot of Warrior Magey things. But um, I think the uh, the ascended Eldric line might be better. <laughs> uh, 
And I should point out what we're doing today, what we're doing in this video, is we are going to... We're going to collect something. Well, I technically have the item, but I'm going to show where to get it for a quest in the near future. And we're going to polish off the search for Oruburuk, which we got in the previous short video. Then I'm going to go back to Fort Icon and go after um, Captain Lucius. So we're going to actually have some really fun fights to do here. Um, so yeah, wearing caster armor is like a, a mage character. It's kind of, kind of dicey at times. You're going to see a lot of damage taken, but I think I got enough health and shield ability to take it. And I'm actually considering, uh, leveling up the shield mastery ability in the soldier tree. Because it, because our, our main defense really is our shield right now. And that's also the reason I'm kind of hanging around the order section, is I might want to... I might actually want to go for something that's a little more tanky than dps -y. Um, so it's it's a big debate for devotion with this character because they're because he's sort of a warrior mage. There's a lot of places he can go. And I don't know exactly which way I'd like to go with him. Because if I go, because I, I really like the idea of this guy having like an elemental sp elemental spirits he summons up. He just doesn't, he just can't get to that right now. And it's actually an oddly difficult thing to go for. It's an oddly difficult thing to get considering it's elemental based because the Eldritch Tree is not elemental friendly. And this is very much an elemental based character. Sort of like the one negative I have about the way Devotion is right now is a couple abilities seem like they don't mesh with the rest of the they don't mesh with the rest of the um the rest of their tree and I can point out point it out in a second um because buy stuff <laughs> I can point it out real quick what I'm talking about um the blind seer down here Gives us Elemental Seeker. Conjure an Eldritch creature of pure energy that seeks out and burns nearby foes with its very presence before returning to the Aether in an explosion of energy. So you can have, I think it's just any number of these Seekers out. Because it doesn't have a limit on it. And they'll just go around and burn stuff for you. But it's all in the Ascendant and Eldritch stuff. And if you look, Ascendant and Eldritch, yeah, it's spellcastery, but it's like, it's like, um... Poison Acid, Vitality Poison, Fire. I mean, there, there are a couple really castery things here. And then there's like a Berserker guy for the Axes, Chaos Fire, um, Acid, Poison. So it's a lot of Poison Acid stuff that's required to get to that. And the Ascendant side has some elemental things, specifically Elemental Storm. And the Empty Throne is a great defensive thing. And there's this elemental shield on the crab here. And what was the other one I was looking at? The the owl has a lot of... The owl and the harpy have a lot of elemental related things. So that makes sense. I don't know why it's in the Eldritch though. Because Eldritch doesn't seem like a very elementally category. Where are you? Oh.
So the Fang of the Bone Hunter is the item that you would go for up here for a quest that's coming up for the Outcast. And we're going to run over here because we need to look for Urubaruk, technically. And I, I do really enjoy Blizzard, and like Tsunami to me is actually not fantastic. Like I can't, I like I think that was it. Right? Yeah, there's like the little water attacks that pop out. Which, I mean, it meshes well with what I'm doing with the uh, Wrath of Baronet. Let's even get a good one going. So it's like, yeah, it adds this nice little AoE on, but... Um... And I love... I actually really love Blizzard. That's the reason I'm up here. Because when it procs, it just clears the field. But you see, the thing is, if I go into the bottom, there's another ability called Whirlpool, which is way over here. And, uh, yeah, right down here. And that's a big chunk of cold damage, too. And this is actually on attack. Blizzard's on critical hit. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a debate. It's a debate. So, we've got our... We've got our fang, and we've got these texts. And what we are going to do is pop on back to Sir's Bastion. Yeah, and while this guy is very, very cold based, and that suits Tsunami and Blizzard, I'm. I'm sort of reluctant about sticking with those two very strict cold abilities. So yeah, it's all up in the air what this guy's going to be doing with his devotion. I just actually, I actually just needed something right now to to fill the slots. Ancient armor plate and holy inscription and a giant chunk of reputation we do not need. I do highly recommend that if you're you're doing a new if if you are farming up reputation um, to do these quests because they give a lot. Also, this is where Mal Malkadar will hang around. You can ask him questions about himself, and he looks cool. So, anyways, that was grabbing up those two items for future quests. For a future quest and to complete the quest that was given us at the Bastion. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time for going through Fort Icon.